Hey, welcome back YouTube to another installment of Collective Con Studios. Another commission is done and it was fun, fun, fun working with you, Mr. G.I. Joe 4157. You are a class act. You knew exactly what you wanted. You made my job extremely easy in terms that you just knew what you wanted. So let's talk about some of the points that Mr. Joe himself wanted and what Collecticon Studios was able to create for him. First of all, a little backstory. He saw a review I had done on Steel Brigade where I had this flat uh, desert surface. The reason why it was flat is because I put mods on there and he didn't know that. I told him, hey, I can make you something that has undulation and hills and berms and vegetation and all that kind of stuff look at that thing man oh my god I get excited no matter how many times I do these or I see them I still get excited um, look at the ground mr. Joe you see that's what I think you were going for when we were talking in the consultation is you wanted that uneven ground but then I went crazy and I threw in something extra for you um, let's see there's more unevenness there but I threw in this wall that had been blown out, all right? It tells a story. Look at that right there, man. Oh my God. You see the rubble on the ground? Look at that, look at that, look at that. Look at that. Paint applications, the sand, everything is just rock solid. Um, also, I remember you saying uh, in your personal message that you would like to have an area kind of where I had the weapons propped up, so I did that for you there where we got the RPG, we got the M14, the M1 Grand, of course, for in Afghanistan. And then we also got the American Made Javelin and the M4 equipped with the M203 grenade launcher and just a bandolier belt with a fragmentation grenade on it. So there you are, sir. But we're not done here. Let me tell you some high points about why and I know we're going to continue to do business and other Joe collectors are going to jump on the bandwagon and they already are because this is what Collecticon can offer to you. Watch this. I'm going to take him out real quick. Okay? What we try to do here is create an environment no matter where you turn it you have a different display. So we don't make flat displays here. Watch this. I'm going to turn it again. 360 degrees of, let's get some more light on that and let that focus, of excitement. So it's not like you just get, you know, a flat display and it's only on the front side that you get some eye candy. All around eye candy, my man. It does not matter how you turn this thing. There is something to be visualized. Um, one more thing that was thrown in and you didn't ask for it but I decided oh look at him is that a little bit too much to drink Ricondo let's sit him, sit him over here for a second one more thing you didn't ask for and just because you were such a cool guy to deal with and, and such a pleasure to work with you knew what you wanted you were straightforward you were all business straight to the point I threw in a custom figure stand Extreme figure stamp from Collecticon Studios that matches your desert motif for free. So that's going to be shipped out with the product as well. That's the kind of stuff we do, guys. D d it, it doesn't matter what you say. This is this is Collecticon. This is what we do. So of course you don't get this badass Spec Ops fact, uh, figure here, but you do get the custom figure stand that is outfitted for the 25th anniversary style figures, you know, the newer stuff. So, King Beastman, fear not, the Joes are coming. Yeah, that's my boy Aaron, he, he's, he's waiting on Joe stuff. Dude, I have so many Joe videos, don't even worry about it. G.I. Joe is, is hot right now. Now check this out, look at this thing here. We got you a bush there. This figure stand, man, is completely modular. Look at that, you can put it anywhere you want. It, uh, it only fits one figure. Uh, the peg, I do believe, we try to hide them, but there's a peg right there for your 
Havana set on. Look at that. Sporting the AK-74. Love it. Um, but that's it, man. Joe, I hope you're happy when you see this. I hope you blow a head gasket and I can't wait till you get this. I was able to deliver within the timeline, just like I promised. So, until the next project, and until next time, keep collecting, start painting, and live the dream. Oh yeah, and you, click that thumbs down button. You need to do that. Now. All right, I'm out of here, guys. I love you guys. Bye-bye. Let's look at the back end. Wait, 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 wait. Let's look at the back end of this. Let me take him off. Because I think we got like a... This is for you, Joe. Let's see if we can get that. Yeah. Look at that. 50 cal round. Right there. To the bottom. Sweet. And I think it pops out the other side if we can get it there on camera. Yes, sir, it does. Beautiful stuff. That's that's a first there. We're filling in the walls, making them a lot thicker. Blown out wall, you know, from the 50 cal. Boom. And then, oh, I love this stuff, man. Until next time, guys. I'm out of here. We've, we, we've had enough fun. Check out the next video. More Joe stuff. I can't wait till you get this and hear what you have to say about it. Thanks, Mr. G.I. Joe. 4157.